Devin Exion here, and welcome to the seventh episode of the Exion FC series. And it happened again. The recording stopped midway, so yes, I'm post coming again. But actually, this time I caught it in the middle of the episode. I actually realized that it had stopped recording. So it will go live again later in the episode, before the last game. But yeah, the first two games, I'm gonna post come. And it doesn't have anything to do with hard drive space. Apparently, the recording equipment just can't record when minimized, so I'll just have to keep it open on my second monitor. Anyway, so we're now in Division 8, and uh, the time for super easy opposition is over. Anyone who's made it this far has at least a couple of wins under their belt. And to be fair, so do I. Now, to kick off this new division, I'm going to start with the squad that brought us here, the English squad. And I just want to make one change, and that is I'm going to take Chimanga off, he's 89 fitness. It's not too bad, but let's give Sinclair a chance. This guy has never played for the club, he's a debutante. So let's see what he can go for. Sigthorsen is injured, so he's in the reserves, he should be fine after this one match, or the next one, we'll see. So, Alright, so, first game of the episode, let's go. Alright, so first matchup. This looks hard, but I think we can do this. Of course, I already know what's going to happen, but I'm going to at least pretend that I don't, for your sake. So starting off this game, the English squad, I trust these guys. I know that they can bring out the big guns. Let's hope that we can. And right away, we get a chance. Tomlinson runs through, kicks the ball away, and he scores! First well, six minutes, Tomlinson scores! I want to call him Tommy, but... I think it's too late for a nickname. He's already established himself as Tomlinson. What a guy. And through later, Disney comes through, shot on goal, Butland recovers it. Because of course they have Butland in goal. And not far after that, they started to get really aggressive. Shooting from distance, of course, why not? Allison saves that any day. Later on, they get another chance. Giroud kicks through it. And do you think it's a penalty? No. It's actually outside the box, and it's Albiol who gets himself a yellow. It's a pretty good free kick position. It's the free kick of dreams right here. So will it go in? Luckily, Sinclair in the wall knocks it out for a corner, which went to nothing. So here's their next chance. Blocked by Jones. Did you guys know that Jones is really tall? Anyways, Sinclair running through. Here we go. They debutant. Can he do something? Can he at least get an assist? He gets himself in a good position. He passes it to Tomlinson. Shoots it straight at Butlin. Oh. And that's the first half. That was the last chance of the first half. Looking at these numbers, I mean, because of that last shot, we're pretty even in terms of shots on target. The stat to note here is that I had 100% shot accuracy. Starting off the second half, we're running through. Sinclair on the ball here. Loses that defender right there. Passes it a dream ball through to Tomlinson, who goes it in. It goes in! Tomlinson with a second goal of the game. Two goals in one game. Tomlinson is now tied up with Sigthorsen on a total of six goals. Incredible. Where did that come from? And my heart stopped for the duration that this ball was in the air. Combined with the slow connection, it felt like it was up there for hours. Later, Tomlinson through again. What? He's come so far from the first episode where I declared him a villain. Now he's a goddamn hero. Disney with the ball passes it through. I thought the keeper was out of position. Later on, we're going to make some subs here. Uh, we're going to bring on Rangel, and I'm also going to bring on Toodle for Fox. And uh, those are the subs that I'm making for now. Saving the last one for later. Later, we're running. Tomlinson on the ball. Can he shoot? Ah, intercepted. And that actually causes an injury for Tomlinson. Oh boy. So I'm going to have to sub him off for uh, Chimanga. Let's see if Chimanga can uh, extend his lead now that Tomlinson is threatening it. Uh, so we intercepted this ball and I went for it because the keeper was out of position, I thought. But Butland recovers it in time and knocks it out. Later, Coleman with the interception, passing it. The pass of dreams to Sinclair. I should chip it here, but I don't. And I actually missed the goal. That did not go off the keeper. It was a blatant miss. Embarrassing. I need to learn how to chip properly. Anyways, here's his chance to get a re re to reduce the lead, but he misses it. Allison catches it in the air. Toodle runs through. The right back playing in the midfield. 
Can he pass it to Sinclair? Can't, no, it's Chimanga, sorry. And Chimanga misses it. Uh, later, here comes the ball. It quite reaches Disney, but it goes off to Sinclair, who shoots. It's too weak, too weak to make it through, Butlin. And that's the end of the game. We win 2-0, our debut in Division 8. We smash it, two goals from Tomlinson. What a hero. And that's my phone going off. What a hero, Tomlinson. Sinclair getting a couple of hugs. It's an impressive debut from him. Even though he didn't, it didn't seem like he did anything, he gets a 9. But Tomlinson, man of the match with 9.2. Sinclair got an assist, which is why he's so highly rated, along with Fox. But the goals, we all know the goals, they go to Tomlinson. Sinclair also with 10 dribbles, so that could also explain it. Allison with 7 saves. Impressive. Now he's really gotten some experience under his belt. And uh, he is on 100% save ratio right now. Impressive. Now, moving on. This leads us to 3 points of 3 possible in Division 8. Now let's jump into the next game. And for the next game, I'm going to use a Colombian squad. Yes, I put together this squad before this episode. Where every Colombian player in my club is in this starting 11. All five of them. And then I have some English on the right and some Argentinians on the left. So let's try these guys out. Maybe ratings are more important than chemistry, but I really like seeing green links. So that's why I'm putting together these weird squads. And the team we're facing off is an Aiko fan, which is... Uh, one of the strongest teams in Sweden. Not the strongest, because that is my precious team, Malmö. So we got some rivals of my home team right up here. Let's see if we can kick their ass like we do in real life, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and yeah, he seems to be Swedish, because he's at least got a Swedish manager. And it, it, it's even called Gnaget, which is uh, the nickname for the team in real life. Oh boy, I'd love to kick this guy's ass. But let's see how it goes. Early into the match, nothing really happened, so we're skipping forward to this, where Vega is on the ball, and I go for a distance, and it's a save from Szczesny, or however it's pronounced. It is a quite an uneventful game, and that, except for that, I really wish that would have gone in. That, you know, that volley assist to another volley. <laughs> wow, I haven't seen something like that since, was it Balotelli? And Vega stops dead in his tracks and just punts it off to the side but doesn't matter half time and uh, looking at these stats as I said it's quite boring a couple of shot more shots on target for me but they're really quite poor shots anyway so not worth showing so we're skipping right into the second half where uh, Jones the giant he's so freakishly tall he uh, blocks off their chances this one as well I have underestimated Jones he is pretty good but he gets the passes through. It goes to Muriel, who shoots it just wide, just wide. And we keep it at a deadlock 0-0. Zero, zero. So I make my substitutions here, and I decide to bring off uh, Balanta for De Santo here. We know he can score those goals. And uh, I'm going to make some more substitutions. I'm bringing on Disney instead of Watkins. Watkins did well, but not well enough. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that for now. Let's get into the game. And here we are, right off, right off the bat, it's Di Santo with a chance. It's blocked by Szczesny, and ah, he can't get to the re rebound. Right off the bat, he responds with his own chance, crossing it in, but straight into the hands of Roman. Hey, cousin. <laughs> Punts it upfield, reaches Di Santo, Di Santo passes it to Boo, who it, it reaches Bendetti. Bendetti runs through, what can he do? Goes straight into Szczesny's hands, but it bounces off, and Di Santo scores the rebound! I knew it was a good idea to bring him on, and, well, it was, because he just scored, and we're in the lead against Oikor. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that feels good. He has the better team, but I have the better soul, is uh, what I would want to say. Uh, he pauses the game here. Uh, I thought he was going to rage quit, but he didn't. So I actually sub off Jones for uh, Rangel to try and get some more energy in our defense so we can keep this lead. And uh, he is not having it. He wants to score a goal. Perotti is running through for his team. Is he going to shoot? He does, but Roman blocks it. Roman blocks this rebound as well. Roman is on fire. And here comes the cross 
Their keeper is up to try and get an equalizer. He doesn't get it, and there's a mistake. But I managed to clear it. And is he going to recover it in time for his last chance? No. No, he isn't. And that's the end of the game. And that's the second win out of two possible for us. Six points. And that's it for the second game of this episode. And it looks like by now I have realized that recording stopped. So let's go back to live commentating. Okay, this is the moment where I realized that my commentary was fucked up. So it's live again now. Now it's live. All right, don't worry about it. And what a game we just had, by the way. <laughs> Jones, the giant man of the match, because of course, well deserved. And uh, goal scorer, DeSanto, knew I should have brought him on. Just felt it in my heart. And who delivered that assist? Roman, the goalkeeper. That's, that's a first. The Columbia bronze team just beat this all rare gold Syria A team from this AIK fan. All kudos to you. Du spelade väldigt bra, men uh, nu är det uppenbarligen jag som är bäst, så uh, heja Malmö. All right, now, let's move on for the last game of this episode. I'm gonna pull out the big guns. I'm gonna pull out my highest rated squad. This Spanish squad. Whew. It's sad, because as you can see, it will be Orellana's last game for the club. The low knee that we got in the first episode. Now more than ever, we need to decide what to do with that rule. All right, we're ready. Bench is ready. Team is ready. Orlana is ready for his last game for this club. Let's hope it's a good one. Copenhagen. Oh, goodness. We go from facing off against a Stockholm team to facing off a Copenhagen team. As if it couldn't get any worse. No, just kidding. Oh, Oof. that was well done. That guy has some sick dribbling. Oh, no. Oh, but Chuaii barely scratches the post. Suarez. Suarez with the roulette. Oh, can he? How many skill moves does he? How many star skill moves does he have? A roulette. That's like four, right? Maybe he was lucky. Oh, no. Oh, 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 No, this game was... No, this is the worst possible thing that can happen. Orlana's contract will run out, but this game won't even count. Oh, no. Orlana's gone now, isn't he? Yeah, he is. That doesn't count. That, day, that game doesn't count, in my opinion. Well, that was a shitty farewell to Orlana. Oh, goodness. So instead of using the Spanish squad, uh, we're gonna use the uh, French squad. Okay, here we go. Well, Tomlinson has recovered from his injury anyway. That's one piece of good news. So not only did it count towards uh, contracts, it also counts towards injuries and suspensions. So let's just get on with this game. I'm not in a good mood right now. At least we learned one thing, and that is that uh, Suarez is hella fun to play with. That guy can dance. And an Italian squad. Great. Tomlinson to Disney. I kind of just went for the corner there, really. Duche is taking it. I don't understand why. Why? That's a goal, right? No, it's going to go wide. Why is Duche taking it? Oh, Autre. Why couldn't you finish that? That was brilliant. So Tomlinson is tied up with Sigtorsen. They're now directly both up front. Whoever scores next is, uh, well, second in the uh, goal tally. Sigtorsen, run! Sigtorsen, clear waters ahead. Ahoy! Sigtorsen! Oh, no! Why couldn't you hold on to it? All right, halftime. Let's see what we can change in the tactics to make the keeper not take all the fucking corners. Why is Duche on everything? All right, now I've uh, removed Duche from all those stupid duties. Who even wants the same player on every single roll? <gasps> oh! Oh 
my god! Is that... Is that Glick again? Or am I mistaken? No! It counts as an own goal! Ah, oh, jeez! No! Ah, fudge! Well, I'll take a... I'll take a goal! I will, gladly, this game. Now, we're keeping up the tradition of, uh... Having an own goal in every division we've been in. Oh, jeez. I can soon put together an own goal compilation here. We've never scored an own goal. I don't. Even, in fact, I have not even prepared for it. There's not even a column for own goals in my uh, Excel spreadsheet, so I hope it never becomes relevant. But that's quite funny, isn't it? There's Ferret! Ferret! Oh! I need to get more power behind my shots. Say, so, yeah, Disney takes it. Ferret! Oh! Yeah, I know it's Ferret. It's, it's more adorable to say Ferret. Oh! Damn it! Fuck you, Balotelli. Get the shit out of here with your blah 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 blah. Dang it. And I've been getting so many shots off recently. This goes completely against the momentum of the game. Oh, Sig Thorsen! Sig Thorsen! Sig Thorsen! Couldn't get it off in time! Oh no, that's infuriating! <sighs> Got him! <laughs> uh, that's a card. <laughs> Chikochi, or uh, however you pronounce him. Chichokshi. Chichoki. I, I don't know. Chika. <laughs> I need a nickname for him too, I guess. Yeah, I'll take a red yellow card over that counterattack any day. Oh no! No! Nash! Oh, thank god. Fall straight to him, of course, why not? Can anyone get on that? Why is everyone running away? Douche with the sticky hands. Oh, but why was my players ignoring that loose ball? Keeps happening to me. Go! Says douche. And will the players obey? Ah, oh. oh well. Yeah, I will take this draw. I will. Especially considering how hard he was pushing near the end. Uh, Glick, man of the match. Rami also with an 8.3. Uh, solid in the, at the back, obviously, keeping this uh, at a draw. Uh, Tomlinson, six horse, and 7.4, both of them. So uh, that was a close race. This means that while we're still undefeated, uh, we do draw a game. Uh, seven points, which means that we could still relegate if we somehow lose seven games in a row. Which, dear God, I hope we don't. All right. So before we end this episode, I actually went back and looked at the uh, squad building challenges here, and uh, I went to League and Nation Basics. See if I could do something here. Uh, there's one here where uh, I, all I have to do is get rid of five players, except they all have to be from the same country. Japan is the closest I can get to this because I have four Japanese goalkeepers neither of whom have played a game But that's it. I don't have a single other Japanese player that has never played a game This guy is the only other Japanese player I have but he has played one game So it would break my personal rules to put him here and trade him away So I'm not gonna do it not for now I'm gonna wait, maybe I'll get a Japanese player in a pack. This one though, seems pretty easy. Eight players, minimum two leagues, minimum two countries. I'm gonna see what I can put together here and then we'll see if I actually do it, all right? Okay, so I attempted this challenge as well. I filled it up with eight players that I could consider myself disposing, but I can't fill up the minimum chemistry of 56. I cannot, so. I'm also going to leave this for now. But yeah, three games into the f into Division 8, and we have seven points. That is really impressive. Shame we had another stupid recording error, but that's the way it is. Otherwise, this has been a banging episode, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.